Hi, it's Susan from Betsby's, and today uh, it's 70 degrees here in the Gulf Coast of Mississippi. Tonight we're supposed to go down to 35. It's been a really busy week getting in and out of the hives because even though I'm warm and it's semi sunny, the girls really don't like to be opened up. So, what do you do when it's, you can't get in the bees? One of the big winter chores for me is cleaning up some of the dead outs and old wax and anything that had wax moth, anything that shrunk up or drone comb. I get some drone comb because I'm foundationless and they tend to draw drone comb first. But this year we decided to try something a little different because it's always a chore as to what to do with this wax and a lot of it is wax moth and so you just don't use the wax it's a lot of mucky uh, webbing and so over the years we've tried different things and each time we're trying to do something faster cleaner easier of course and so this year we decided to use a pressure washer When some of the frames are so disgusting and there's not much left, you can use the pressure washer. So this is what we found. It washes the frames really, really clean. It washes the wax off. And when we boiled the frames, you end up with this slum gum. It's not a wax that you can use in candles. It's not a wax you can use in anything. It stinks to high heaven. And so you end up throwing it away anyway. When you do this method, that this pro pressure washing, you have to make sure that you're definitely not doing it over a drain. You're not doing it over a municipal drain. You're not doing it over your, uh, any kind of drain that might clog because it is wax. It's a lot of propolis, a lot of wax going off, even though it's broke up. So we did ours in our yard and it seems to have broken it up in very tiny pieces. It doesn't seem to um, have created any environmental problem as far as coating anything. It is broken up after a few days. When trying to use this pressure washer we realized that it couldn't just be a baby pressure washer so we went up and rented a 4,000 psi pressure washer and that is definitely at least as high as you want to go but it also is dangerous in the sense that if you linger too long on any one piece it can actually splinter some of your frames and woodenware. We also realized that at that pressure you need to have a jig and this is our jig so that it wouldn't just blow across into the nether world so to speak. Another tip, you don't want all 10 frames in there. You want 9 or 8. Nine is nice because it wiggles around and you can get all the frames clean. The box actually acts as a jig to hold the frames and relieving it of one frame down to nine, you can maneuver the frames back and forth. You actually have to maneuver the, the entire box back to front and flip it to try to get it clean. It's a wet job, so you may want to wear your boots. But it definitely gets the boxes super clean to the point of now the only thing we have to redo is rewire. We lost a few frames, 
but those are frames that were very old. Some of my boxes are more than 10 years old. I think they a long time. If you're, the only thing I would have to suggest is if your boxes are painted, it may chip your paint off and I'm not cool with paint chips around, but mine are linseeded and they're easily linseeded back out in the field or here in the yard. Another worry was that the pressure washer alone wouldn't take care of maybe some larva that may be still alive, but um, having used it, I'm very, very secure in the knowledge that there are no live larva left in any of the boxes that we've done. It's a super high pressure. And so now that my boxes are done, I have to rent it maybe one more time and it has been a nice experience. I suggest that, you know, if you do have more than 10 boxes to clean and less time on your hands to do it, the pressure washer may be the way to go, but it's all in a state of experiment as most things are in beekeeping. What works for me may not work for you. So these are the cleaned boxes. And the white is because that pressure washer actually cleaned off the, the dark, darkening. But it cleans out those wax moth cocoons so that once a bee gets in there, there's nothing for them to clean up. This is how some of the frames have started. Just absolute, it's not really any type of wax that I'm gonna do anything with. And wax moth leaves powder, it completely eats the old wax. But to go from this to a clean, ready to go frame is worth it. Takes all day to do a good number of boxes. This is the residue, so to speak, the wax, and I'm sure it's going to decompose. But it'll be easy enough also to take a, sh a shovel and pick it up and move it out. I do have a little bit of a wood area so that it doesn't have to just coat the ground until next time happy beekeeping